it's Thursday, May 24th. My name is Victoria Ballant and you are watching x Broadcast. Let's start with the technical outlook for the euro dollar. As long as price holds below daily pivot, we can expect price will focus on support S1 and a further fall towards support S2 isn't excluded. But sustained rise above daily pivot will negate previous conclusions and target will be at R1 resistance. Overview of x chosen indicators show a bearish trend for the euro dollar. Secondly, we have the dollar-yen outlook. We are expecting price will be able to break above daily pivot and then it will focus on resistance R1. But rebound from daily pivot will focus back on support S1 and further fall towards S2 support isn't excluded. A vast majority of our indicators expect a bullish trend today. Following that, our outlook concerns the sterling dollar. Price will continue towards support S1 if price holds below daily pivot and break below first support will be indicating next objective at S2 where we can expect rebound and correction. According to the summary of our chosen indicators, we can expect a bearish trend. Finishing up our outlook is the dollar franc. If price holds above daily pivot, we can expect rebound and rise towards R1 resistance. And then price will probably break above and will approach R2 resistance. But another correction may interrupt further rise. Decline below daily pivot will negate previous conclusions. Indicators show a bullish trend for the dollar franc today. Our first news for today will be released at 8.30 a.m. GMT. Market is going to publish figures about German flash manufacturing PMI, which rose in the previous report 46.2 points. Analysts are expecting a rise of 47.1 points. Readings above 50 indicates industry expansion and fall below indicates contraction. Also, a high impact on the euro can be awaited. The Institute for Economic Research will publish statistics about German IFO business climate at 9 a.m. GMT. Analysts are expecting a rise of 109.4 points compared to previous 109.9 points, and moreover, a high impact on the euro can be awaited. The Office for National Statistics is going to publish quarterly figures about revised UK GDP, which fell to minus 0.2 in the last report. No change in this number is expected, and in addition, a high impact on the sterling can be expected. Next, at 1.30 p.m. GMT, the Census Bureau will publish data about core durable goods orders in the United States. It is expected rise of 1.1%, while in the previous report, orders fell 0.8%. It will have a high impact on the dollar. Our last news for today concerns weekly figures about unemployment claims in the United States, which will be released at 1.30 p.m. GMT. Economists expect a slight increase from 370,000 to 372,000 in jobless claims, and a high impact on the dollar. And finally, we bring you our summary of the best traders and their strategies on Axir, which are available for you. Glimpsey strategies are remaining at first two positions with 386.1 and 720.0 pips. At third place is holding DB intraday with 1,443.6 pips in total. The multi-trader lower risk invest continued in gains and added 15.8%, and India rose even 27%. On the downside, V9 Direct recorded loss of 17.7% from yesterday. Next platform, Trade Leader's LW Trading Strategy increased by 26%. Small decline showed White Stone Asset, which fell 2%, and Joiny Jing Strategy remained unchanged at second place, standing with 448%. And on this date in 1956, the first Eurovision Song Contest was held in Lugano, Switzerland. Thanks for tuning in to Axios Broadcast and have a great day trading. Goodbye.